I'm losing my memory. Sometimes I think about what my very last memory will be before the candle goes out. Friday is here in Los Angeles as we are celebrating the bittersweet end of This Is Us, the sixth and final season coming to NBC on January 4th. And we are going to be bringing you interviews with the cast. We are here, Isn't we are it? celebrating the beginning of yeah. the end we for the Pearsons. Uh, when you think about the legacy of this series, what will always stand out to you about This Is Us? And what it means, not just for your career yeah. or for these, these friendships, but honestly for the history of television. Yo, that's profound. It completely changed my life. Oh, Everything, God. yeah. Everything. Not only did it change my life, but I think it changed a lot of women and a lot of people who never saw themselves on television's lives. And that I will be eternally grateful for, for all the incredible executives and of course Dan to write this character. and. Um, it was needed. It was really necessary. It talks about topics that are often not talked about on television. Um, Tessa's character alone, her being a part of that community, television does not cover that topic a lot. And I think that it's one of the topics that they definitely like cover that are super important to talk about and that create conversations that are, like, that are needed to happen in order for change. I know that you are back in that director's chair again this season. Are you already wrapped up with your episode? No. My episode is... Um co-mingled with Mandy's and co-mingled with Justin's. Oh my gosh. So we have a, a big, a big This Is Us trilogy kind of happening where we're all kind of working together. We're like, we're actually really working together, which is nice. Um, and they're both so wonderful behind the monitor, um, behind the camera. Um, and we even have uh, Susan and Christy writing episodes this season, which is great. Um, and you know, just hats off to Dan, who's given opportunities. And even like, you know, younger writers that may not get a chance to like have an actual episode of TV under their belt leaving a show like Dan's giving people a shot. I think it's wonderful. He's, he's really he's really just the best best boss to work for. Dan did me the biggest favor, right? Like all we sort of need in life is for one person to champion us, to recognize something in us and that sort of allows us to sort of step into ourselves in a way that Maybe we didn't even know we were capable of, and Dan is that person for me. Like he saw, he saw something in me that was like, yeah, I think that girl can play the 25-year-old version of this character and the 71-year-old and the 85-year-old. Like I think for a lot of shows that are on right now, especially the shows that chose to tackle the pandemic, to tackle the social unrest that happened in the midst of quarantine, what Dan and our writers have done has created a show that has been relevant and I think will continue to be relevant until it goes off the air. It feels very special, you know? It feels uh, like things like this don't happen very often. Um, and you know, you just gotta be grateful for every moment you get like this, honestly. Well, I'm so thankful that I got to grow up on this show. I started when I was eight, and now I'm turning 14 this month. So I'm so thankful that I get to um, be around such amazing people every day and that I get to work on this show. Um, I definitely learned a lot and it was my first ever show. Shows don't have to have all of these bells and whistles or these, these twisted plots in order to be successful. A family show that has heart, that has love, um, it still comes down to uh, getting a great cast, putting together a great writer's room, finding the best directors, and just trying to make quality television to tell a beautiful story. If you can do that, you don't you don't need all that stuff. So I think this is us has proven that model time and time again, season after season. What's something someone has said to you that you still kind of keep with you? Don't get me emotional. Y'all know how I roll, right? You seen the show? Um, oh God. Get me emotional every week, so sorry. You know, a little boy was on a flight and he was like, oh my goodness, I love you and I love your show. And his mom was like, he really does. And I was like, oh, that's great. He's 10 years old, I, you know, I didn't think anything else. He probably related to the younger characters. And then it turned out he was going to um, an eating disorder clinic. And he just was so impacted by my character. And Kate has really tried to love herself where she's at so she can get to the place she wants to be. And without, I'm really trying not to, yeah, it's just really, it's really difficult because, um, it's so much more than a show. Yeah, 
Girl! Sue and I were working downtown one time, and this guy came up to us and he said, hey man, he just literally said, I know you're working right now, but you saved my brother's life. He's like, I don't want to take up too much of your time. He's like, can I just give you a hug? And he gave me a hug, he gave Sue a hug, and he's like, y'all keep doing what you're doing. That was one. There was one time in the airport, a woman came up to me, and this is with regarding Tess coming out to her parents. And she said, I did not have the same level of grace that Randall and Beth had with, their with your daughter when my daughter came out to me, but I'm learning and I promise that I will do better. And I was like, yo, if you can do that with a show, I had a woman who had a baby strapped to her chest, and she said, I adopted this baby because of you. And she's like, well, not you first, but yeah. like the show and your character and that. And I was like, oh my God, like those sorts of things are countless. And, and, and I don't think I've experienced them in the way that I've experienced them on this show at any other point in time in my career. What would you tell fans about season six? Aside from the fact that we're probably gonna cry, you guys are gonna wrap this up, you know, imperfectly. Uh, what else do you want people to know about this season's journey? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think you'll get a lot of the same too. I think you'll get a lot of the, the, the laughter and the crying like you were saying. I think that it will be something that, that sits with people for a while in a, in a really great way, in a great way. And, and maybe lifts them up a little bit, I think. So that's what we, if we can leave people with that, I mean, come on now, there's nothing better than that, right? We're going out the way we want to, we're ending the story we, the way we want to, and all of these questions and mysteries and storylines are gonna be wrapped up in nice, neat little packages for everybody. So it's gonna be really satisfying to, to watch. I can't wait for people's re reaction to it. What does it mean to see the show, and of course your performance as well, recognized um, you know, as we're going into season six? And going into season six, it makes it that much sweeter, man. Like that, to know that you know, from the time that we've been here to now that people are still um, rocking with us and still you know, um, showing us love, it's just, it's a beautiful thing.